I'm Julian Rayner. I'm a group leader in the malaria program at the Sanger Institute at Cambridge. I'm a scientific advisor on the MAPIC project. My background is I'm interested in host parasite interactions in Plasmodium falciparum using new approaches like next gen sequencing, protein protein interaction screening. And I'm interested in how MAPIC is going to explore these questions using in vivo models instead of in vitro models. I got interested in malaria actually reading an article written by Dr. Mary Galinsky, the PI of the MAPIC um, project. So I became interested in how parasites invade human red blood cells, which is critical both to parasite survival and also to the pathology of malaria. And I came to um, John Barnwell and Mary Galinsky's lab to work on that project, and I still work on red blood cell invasion 12 years on. One of the fascinating things about malaria is it's an incredibly complex interaction between hosts, both the insects and both humans and parasites. And different people around the world work on different pieces of that interaction. The thing that MARPIC has is that it has the potential to monitor that interaction in live animals in real time. So it's a really unique opportunity and set of tools to address problems that people are working on the whole world over. So malaria research is going through a revolution at the moment, like a lot of areas of research, where you have the ability to generate huge amounts of data, which has never been possible before. What MARPIC is trying to do is generate multiple of these massive data sets all at the same time, which has never been done before, and understand how they interact with each other and how they cause the disease. And that is really a unique strength of the proposal. So when we first started sequencing genomes, whether they're malaria genomes or human genomes, it took a long time just to sequence one genome. So it took more than 10 years to sequence the first plasmonium parasite genome. And that gave us a complete list of the genes of one organism, but it didn't tell us anything about how individual parasites are different from each other. And it's those differences that actually probably are critically important because not everyone who gets infected with plasmodium parasites gets sick. So there may be some elements of plasmodium genome in some individual parasites that are different to others and that what, that's what causes disease symptoms. What next-gen sequencing allows us to do is completely change the scale of sequencing. It took us 10 years to sequence the first plasmodium genome. At the Sanger Institute, we've sequenced 4,000 genomes in the last two years. And on the human context, we're moving from 10,000s of genomes to probably hundreds of thousands of genomes in the next couple of years and rapidly reaching the point where pretty much anyone in the world will have their own genome sequenced. And that allows us to establish what are the differences between people, what are the differences between parasites, and which of those differences are actually responsible for severe malaria disease. I'm biased, but malaria is by far the most fascinating organism and disease system on the planet. And the thing that MARPIC has is that it has all of the newest technologies, the big scale technologies, all in one place. So it's a really fantastic opportunity to both work on a really important and uh, globally significant disease, but also be working at the cutting edge of technology.